I'm Andrew Spaziano, and this is an Anchor TV news update brought to you by your Rhode Island College television station, Anchor TV. Russian Air Forces carried out airstrikes in Syria for a second straight day, claiming to have targeted forces related to the Islamic State, also known as ISIS. United States military officials are skeptical of the claims made by the Russians, however, as they fear the Russians have instead targeted Syrian rebels opposed to the Assad regime, which the Russians have backed. U.S. officials are planning on holding meetings with their Russian counterparts in the next few days in order to prevent confusion between the two sides, which are both participating in airstrikes in the region. The United States has been operating in Syria since the last fall and has been coordinating attacks with Arab allies in the area who are also opposed to the Islamic State. Hurricane Joaquin, which is currently battering the Bahamas and is off the coast of Florida, may make a closer approach to New England than was originally expected. Forecasters now believe the storm may make a track up the east coast and potentially impact New England in the mid-Atlantic states early next week in a more severe manner than originally expected. As a result, states of emergency have been declared in New Jersey, Virginia, and North Carolina. Other states may follow suit depending on whether the storm tracks more east or westward or if it drifts out to sea. With more news related to your Rhode Island College, I'll turn it over to Erin Shea. I'm Erin Shea with Anchor TV News. As many people know, the tuition for Rhode Island College students, as well as the U University of Rhode Island and the Community College of Rhode Island College, has gone up. This tuition increase was part of a plan to keep 2016 fiscally stable while still allowing the schools to gain the funding necessary to run a fully functioning college. Students were not exactly pleased with the 7.8% increase for in-state students and the 8.5% increase for out-of-state students in tuition at RIC. While it is an unpopular choice, more funding for these schools always has a reason behind it and the tuition was frozen for the three years prior. It is important to know what the money is for and how it is improving our school. This money is for the school's maintenance as well as operating the college. The increase was necessary in order to increase the money spent on facilities and resources at RIC. All the money is going towards improving the daily life of the RIC student which is understandable, although frustrating. In an article written by Lynn Arditi entitled Rhode Island Board of Education Backs Budget Proposal, stated, um, since 2008, Rhode Island has reduced state per pupil spending by almost $1,600, more than any state in New England. This is impressive and proves the point that the tuition increase might, must be necessary. Students are in a constant battle pay for school, and while this increase is not ideal, it is a compromise. The, the tuition here at RIC was named number six best bang for your buck in New England. To, this tuition has historically stayed low because this is a college that believes that everyone deserves a higher education. This change could look at this frustration, you could look at this change with frustration, but also with perseverance because that is what the Rhode Island College student is. Higher education comes at a price and while the hope that free public college is in our future, Rhode Island College can persevere through these changes. Good one go. Thank you Erin and now let's turn it over to Anchor TV Sports Director Mike Giamarco for sports news both on the national level and local level. The St. Louis Cardinals clinched the National League Central Division last night and secured the top spot in the National League playoffs. Their victory means that the Pittsburgh Pirates and Chicago Cubs will face each other next Wednesday in a one-game playoff for the wild card game. On the American League side, the chase for the wild card spot is hot as ever as the Houston Astros try to hold off the Los Angeles Angels and Minnesota Twins. The Astros lead the Angels by only half a game in the Twins with four days left in the regular season. The Red Sox topped the New York Yankees in 11 innings Wednesday night, winning by a score of 9-5. to The Sox 11th inning rally was powered by a Mookie Betts two-run home run. The win prevented the Yankees from clinching a wild card spot in the playoffs. The Yankees will attempt to clinch again tonight when the two teams face each other for the final game of their four game set at Yankee Stadium. The Yankee women's soccer team lost a hard fought match against Regis College Tuesday by a score of 2-1. The lone Yankee women goal was scored by senior Gabrielle Turner which tied the game at 1 in the 15th minute. The Yankee women look to rebound Saturday at home when they take on Western Connecticut State University. 
The Anchor Women Tennis Team continued their successful season as they defeated Curry College 9 to nothing at home on Monday afternoon. The Anchor Women swept all three doubles matches and all six singles matches, giving them their fourth shutout of the year in their eighth straight win. They look to extend their streak to nine Thursday at Bridgewater State University. Winter sports for Rhode Island College are starting to heat up again. Rhode Island College hockey resumes, starts the season next Friday, October 9th at the Dennis M. Lynch Arena in Pawtucket as they take on the UMass Lowell, UMass Lowell. Rhode Island College Anchorman basketball team will start their season on November 14th here at the Murray Center taking on Salem State University. For Aaron Shea and Mike Giamargo, I'm Andrew Spaziano and this concludes today's Anchor TV News Update.